time to get into the mystery mobile. Mike Tyson Mysteries is an adult animated comedy produced by Warner Brothers Animation airing on October 2014 on Adult Swim. The show just finished its fourth season last month and I find it kind of weird that it isn't as popular as other originals on the network. When I was hanging out with some friends I decided to tell them about the show and let them see a couple clips. To my surprise they all pretty much liked it and asked where they could see more. You're welcome. So I figured if I could put them on why couldn't I do the same for others. That said, here's why you should be watching Mike Tyson Mysteries. There is no story. Take off your clothes. Yeah, this show is purely episodic. It has its own self-contained adventures. Sure, there's a little bit of, you know, backstory on the main characters from time to time, but it's not gonna leave you confused. Okay, you'll be confused, but not for that reason. You'll still you'll still be able to enjoy the show. It's a Scooby-Doo-esque type of show revolving around mysteries that the team goes out to solve. But the catch is that they never really solve them and end up always making things worse, usually killing somebody. <laughs> and hey, I know what you're about to say. Why watch a show if I already know the outcome of every episode? For this series, it's about the journey and not so much the destination. And the mysteries are different enough to allow for new things to happen and new ways to screw them up. Okay, I like mysteries as much as the next guy, but what's gonna keep me coming back to the show? Ooh! What's it say? Just ooh! This mystery sounds fun! It doesn't say ooh. Those are zeros. It's an old IBM computer punch card. It's written in binary. Oh, for deaf people. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend, the characters are 100% the reason you need to watch this show. The way that they interact with each other is really entertaining and really funny to watch. Examples being Young Hee arguing with Pigeon, Marcus arguing with Pigeon, or characters getting hurt because of Mike's non-existent common sense. Hey, that was just a joke, big guy. Don't don't come after me, please. Oh, by the way, the Pigeon is what makes this show work. A as weird as that sounds, just bear with me. It'll make more sense as I explain. So deaf people have no language. Wow, that's pretty sad. No, they speak with their hands. Like monkeys. Mikey Mike, AKA Mike Tyson. Former heavyweight champion, earbiter, and father all in one cartoon package. He's the team's muscle. Even though he rarely fights, or uses his fists actually. I don't know how to describe this character other than he does and says what he wants whenever he wants. Like he can be like the nicest, most sweetest guy and then get super aggressive the next, usually over like the smallest little thing. Bear with me, but it's so hard to describe this character because he doesn't fit into like a single archetype like the other characters in this show do. I'm a grandmaster. You're what? I am a grandmaster. <laughs> He's a grandmaster, not a grand wizard. Oh my God. Then what the f*** is the Grandmaster? But honestly, him being a wild card is what makes him really entertaining to watch. Also, his brother's Neil deGrasse Tyson, for some reason? <laughs> Hamburger. Young He. Tyson? Mike Tyson's adopted daughter. <laughs> that sounds so boring. Mike's adopted daughter. She often plays a serious or mature role, despite being the youngest in the group. A running joke is that her short hair and comfy tracksuit. Hey, seriously, where can I buy one of these? Often gets her mistaken for a boy, and I don't know why it still makes me laugh. I guess it's because they're so unapologetic about it. I often see her as someone to relate to as all this crazy stuff is happening. You're an asshole. I'm. You're an asshole. She's not an asshole. And that's not how you talk around a young lady. Marcus of Queensberry, the group's flamboyant ghost. No, I didn't stutter. He's also an alcoholic, and I like him because of his over-the-top personality, weird tangents. Why haven't you been sleeping well? It's because you're a ghost and you can see through your eyelids? No, you know, I just find I can't turn my brain off at the end of the day, you know? I just, I lie there worrying about the dumbest things. It's ridiculous, and the next day I'm tired and a bitch to everyone around me and uh, And his banter with Pigeon. Also, every time he screams is just hilarious. Come on, Pigeon, what do you got to say? <laughs> Whoa! Pigeon with an unexpected physical move. <gasps> Pigeon! You asshole! I could swear we met a young. Do you remember a Hmm. For God's sakes, you idiots are the The name is obviously pronounced cute. The literal heart of the show. I'm not kidding. The group's talking, alcoholic, drug-addicted, perverted, offensive pigeon. 
this character works because one, he's mad weird. So weird, it's funny. Two, his banter with other characters. And three, literally everything he does is offensive or unnecessary. You deserve to be turned into a pigeon by your wife because you're disgusting. Ex-wife, and you don't know anything about relationships, you little homeschooled weirdo. Four, he has the same voice as Norm the Genie, both being voiced by comedian Norm Macdonald. And I'm really not doing justice by just describing him like, you need to see this character in action. I like the fact that he's so out of pocket that he just makes everybody look normal by comparison. But truthfully, his humor is not for everyone, so you'll either love him or hate him, much like the characters in the show. Hey, thank you so much for watching my video, and I'm really sorry for the delay. There's been a lot of crazy stuff going on, as most of y'all know. So whenever I had the time, I tried to work on this video as much as possible. As always, stick around to see what the next video or essay is going to be like. You're probably going to want to stay this time because you're not going to be disappointed. Trust me, I worked my butt off on this. With that said, I'm going to shut up. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day, night, whatever. Stay safe and stay smart. All right, peace out. Oh man, oh man, it's so dark. I can't see my hand in front of my face. Oh, shit. It's a chupacabra, he, he beat me with his mouth. Oh. Michael, why are you smiling? Yeah, <laughs> そしたら最終選別ってのがあることや鬼の存在について聞いてよなんだそりゃいやいいんだ痛みを我慢できる度合いは人それぞれだ埋葬だよ伊之助も手伝ってくれ傷が痛むからできないんだなちゃんだよこ